There's a reason that we tell you in an armed robbery that you absolutely have to wait your turn in order to defend yourself. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Lebanon. Here we're going to see a man try to resist armed robbers and it's not going to go well for him. We're going to learn important lessons here about why we say all the time to wait your turn in an armed robbery, about the importance of keeping your firearm chambered and ready to go at all times, and we are going to talk about spiritual fitness. This man is just minding his shop when you're going to see multiple armed robbers with long guns come in from the right top of our screen. And you see him come in right there. Now he has a gun behind the counter, but you see him, he's got to try to chamber that gun and he gets shots off and he's actually going to get one on one of the bad guys and knock him out of the fight right there. And that seems to be a good outcome, right? He's got one of the robbers, chased him off and they didn't get anything except for as he comes back in the screen here in just a second, you're going to notice that he has actually been shot through and through. And when you take a rifle round, that's really bad. You can see the blood on the back of his shirt and he is badly injured. Now, we're just going to watch here in these last few seconds while he's looking for somebody to help him and nobody is there to help him and he is just going to go over and the best news story I have says he didn't make it. Let's go back and think about some significant lessons out of this one. The first one is, is keeping your firearm on your person. This guy had a force multiplier in that. That's great. But notice when they come in, you notice his first inclination is to get down. I think that was a really good decision because what they can't see, they often won't shoot at. I see the concealment work as well as cover many times. So using that concealment was really good, but he pops back up to get back in the fight. And you notice as he gets his gun in there, he is chambering around. That chambering of around took him time and took the initiative away from him. If he'd come up with a gun that was ready to go, he might have won this fight. But because he was chambering around, that gave the bad guys time to respond and react to him. And thankfully he had two hands to chamber it. Now you notice here that he's reaching out with his left hand, trying to deflect the muzzle of the guy on his left. And that right there, it was the best that he had. He's taking a shot at the guy on his right after he chambered around and now trying to deflect the muzzle on the left. And I think that's when the shot got him that got him actually. But you see him swing back over here and try to get the guy on the left. I think that one went wide. And I don't know about that one. That looked like a pretty good shot there. And they're shooting back and the shots are going both ways. Now you see he stayed in the fight here. We know that he's badly injured, but he stayed in the fight and put a shot on target on the robber on the right. Great job there and we want to stay in the fight as long as we can, no matter what. Now, would you consider this a win? I would not consider this a win because our good guy's not going to make it. You don't want to have a, you know, a, a fight where you lose and they lose. That's still considered a loss. So we do want to talk about spiritual fitness in this one. You want to make sure that you've said everything you need to say to your loved ones, that your relationship with Jesus is strong because you don't know beforehand that that day's coming for the most part in these kind of instances. So make sure those relationships are strong so that if it is your last day, you're ready to go. Do the things that you need to though so that that day's postponed as long as possible. Keep your firearm on your person. Keep it loaded and ready to go. Put shots on target first to cover your ASP.